Hey everyone, it's Becky. Welcome back. I can, I'm hoping I can get through a good bit of this video while I'm on my lunch break. It's 2.30 uh, central time, uh, which is my, my standard lunch break. So this was one of my Amazon Prime Day purchases. Um, so let's see here. We've got a gajillion pins, wax and boats. Does that kind of give you a clue of what's in here? Obviously, we're not going to need all thousands of those. So let's take a look here. Let's do it this way. So this is a 12 pack of diamond paintings. Now I've never ordered a multi-pack like this before. Um, well, I take that back. If you look back in my early videos, there was a, whoops, drop a pack. There was a mystery kit that I had ordered and I thought, oh, this is such a great deal. It was like $6 for six paintings. Um, and they claimed that they were going to be 30 by 40s. A 30 by 40 painting for a dollar? Heck yes. Anyways, that's where I ended up getting the six pack of these little crystal diamond paintings that are all 15 by 15 by 15 centimeters. So, not such a great deal. They're cute. I love them. They're fun to play with. But these are actually 30 by 40. So, um, this pack was um, like $18 and some change on the um, Amazon Prime Days. Uh, the highest I've ever seen it at was $25. But there are 12 paintings in here. So, even if you did pay full price, still a really great deal for 12 paintings. Uh, this is by Tiny Fun, which is one of my favorite brands for um, budget-friendly paintings. So let's do a little measurement here. Okay, so the painting itself is, is still the 25 by 35, so it's not a true 30 by 40. Uh, but, I mean, you know, they're nice little paintings. I've eyed several of these in, in individual painting packs. Um, so this first one, you've got the uh, yellow butterfly at the bottom and the top and a couple of big sunflowers. This one is 26 colors. I'll show you the key here. Let me get a shed a little light on this situation. Okay, so 26 colors and looks like we are mostly letters and numbers until we get down to the mathematical symbols, the plus, minus, and equals. Lots of good color. The drill field looks really nice and clear. Of course, with Tiny Fun, we always expect good quality canvases. Uh, I'll sort through the drills later to find out which ones match with which pack or with which painting, uh, but they are all nicely packaged together. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep, we have 12 different packs of drills. So we have all of those. Okay. Uh, the next one. Oh, that is cute. So you've got sunflowers or black eyed Susans, maybe. Uh, but they're in a mason jar. Uh, this one has 22 colors. Again, we've got the numbers and letters, and then we've got a couple little mathematical symbols and a check mark here. Again, nice clear drill field. They kind of have not a super heavy guide circle on most of them. 
Um, but there is a little bit of a guide circle, which I'm not mad about. They, um, it looks like those guide circles are small enough that they're going to cover up nicely. All right. Now this one is interesting because I actually ordered this from another company uh, a while back. I got it on Timu um, and paid like $3 and something for this canvas. So whenever I pull this one out to do it, um, I'm probably going to kind of do a little bit of a, a comparison between the other brand and this one. I can't remember what brand it is, but it was from Timu. So it was not branded by Tiny Fun. Um, again, we're at 22 colors, really nice drill field, very, um, you know, very light guide circles. So definitely not anything to be bothered about. Are you catching on to a theme? more flowers so this one in the camera absolutely looks fantastic it's more like watercolor looking i'm trying to get that ring light off of there um in person not quite so great looking um but of course we'll we'll see how it comes out in the end it's got a little dragonfly down here uh, you've got a bird sitting on the uh, spout of the watering can um, some nice flowers up top there. So yeah, that one be interesting to see how it turns out since it's got it's it's not quite as clear of an image as the others are. All right. Ooh, blue jays. I was just mentioning the other day that you don't see many diamond paintings with blue jays. We see lots of cardinals, lots you know. Um, but blue jays is another one of my favorite birds. I love blue jays, cardinals, hummingbirds. Um, so this one will be a nice one to do. Um, this one only has 18 colors in it. Um, so you've got the numerical symbols and the letters. Again, I'm always happy with diamond uh, paintings from Tiny Fun. Um, they just, they have a really good quality, um, canvas. Um, they're nice and flexible, not too flimsy though. Um, so yeah, Blue Jays, that's a nice one. Wouldn't that cute? That is, um, a nice little set of butterflies. Let's see here. So this one again has 18 colors. So, um, mostly letters and numbers, and then this one random equal sign between the X and the Y. That, sorry. Um, so, that's a little weird, but, you know, whatever. Again, there's, there's a tiny little guide circles. You see, uh, when we say guide circles, if you see the, the number five there, um, it has like a little black line around it. That is the guide circle that kind of helps you make sure that you're uh, drills are centered where they're supposed to be. Another pink flower and blue butterfly. Let's see here. Pardon the movement, trying to get that ring light minimized if we can. Um, so this one has more like a Gerber daisy on it. Um, nice big blue butterfly there. We're back up to 28 colors and we've added a new symbol. We've got a star on this one. And a little right arrow there. Lots of really nice colors in these. None of them have ABs in them, but of course if, if a person wanted to, they could absolutely add ABs to this. This one I think is probably one of my favorites. Um, I like that big yellow. Um, I'm thinking that might be, I was thinking this was water down here um, and maybe a um, like a lotus blossom is what I was originally thinking on this, but it's got this long stem. Um, so it may not be a lotus flower like I thought. Still pretty. We're middle of the road here with 24 colors and again we're starting to add some different arrows to that we still have letters and numbers uh, let's see here all right and this time we've got bluebirds um 
I don't think those are actual blue birds. They're certainly not blue jays, uh, but we've moved into some daffodils. Um, I have daffodils in my flower beds out front and I call them my stupid flowers. We have really wacky weather here in Oklahoma. I know a lot of people around the country think, oh, our weather's crazy, and I'm sure it is. But in Oklahoma, we'll get, during the winter time, we rarely get, like, super, super cold spells. But when we do, right smack in the middle of that cold spell, we'll have, like, a 70-degree day, and my stupid flowers will start to come up because they think it's spring, and then the very next day, it's below freezing again. So they're my stupid flowers. They're stupid, stupid, stupid. Anyway, so um, this one here, again, we're at 24 colors. We've added another new symbol, whatever that is. Two little diamonds next to each other. Anyways, um, so very interesting that they kind of change up their symbol combinations. All right. So here we have a pair of cardinals. Now, DP Crazy Lady, I know that you were looking for a pair of cardinals um, that were a little bit better quality of picture. When I finish this one, absolutely, I'll let you know. Um, you all, I'm sure you'll see it on the channel. Um, but I, I like this one. Um, like I said, it was a 12-pack, so I didn't really get a whole lot of choice in what came in it. Uh, but I do like that they have both a male and a female cardinal. The female species in a lot of wild um, animals will actually be a lighter color than the male. Uh, because if the female has, a, you know, in bird cases, if they have eggs in the nest or young babies that they're trying to take care of, if, the, if something happens to the male, not such a big deal. The female will take care of things. But if you lose a female, if they're bright colored and are easily... Uh, seen in nature they're more likely to get injured and therefore there's nobody to take care of their nest so um, the females are almost always uh, a more dull color in nature so just a little fun fact anyway so we'll see we'll see when we get this one done what we think of the actual final picture um, but again the drill field on these is always very, very nice. We'll see how they turn out. And then of course, last but not least, we have some beautiful lilies. Um, these are more like a day lily type thing um, with the little speckles on there. Um, this one, we're back to 22 colors um, and so mostly mostly yellows and oranges in this one lots and lots of color blocking in that background um, so that'll be that'll be quick and easy to complete hopefully um, so yeah here are my 12 pack of tiny fun diamond paintings so my plan for this pack, I am going to take a, uh, a page from Lazy Retired Granny's uh, plans from her book, and I'm actually going to do these starting in January. I will do one painting per month. I will just randomly grab one painting per month and start working on it. Now, one thing that's really interesting about this pack, if you notice, there's no folds. They actually came without folding, without rolling. They were just in the package like that. So I don't have to worry about getting any creases out, no air bubbles, no pockets, nothing like that. So that's interesting. This is the first time I've ever gotten diamond paintings that weren't either folded or rolled or, or teeny tiny. So, um, so yeah, that, that's, um, something that I don't see often. So I'm excited for that. Um, let's see here. They do have, uh, they do have the canvas numbers on the drill packs. So we'll be able to match those up. Let's see here. 
So like here is F302 on this one, which matches this canvas here. So that goes here, as you would expect, lots of yellows, greens, browns, and it's a little bit of a, like a deep red in there. Let's see, three. Three, zero, three here is the mason jar one. Now, I was a little worried. My husband, actually, I had these sitting in my cart, and I was just, you know, waiting for other sales to come along. And my husband actually went through and paid for these, which usually, if he does something like that, it's because he's planning on giving them to me as a Christmas gift, which I'm totally fine with. I'm not starting these till January. So I told him that, you know, I, as long as I have them before January, I'm good. Well, when they came yesterday, he actually went ahead and just, gave them to me which I was kind of surprised by um but yeah so here is the drills for 304 I'm just doing a quick check here to make sure that they're all here I know I've got enough packs 305 uh, but I want to make sure that I've got ones that match each canvas um, that was one of the things I was going to do is say, hey, I, I'm totally fine with those being a Christmas gift, but if you don't mind, let me check and make sure I've got all the drills. That way, if we need to contact Amazon and get them replaced, we can do that. So this one, lots of fun colors in there. Let's see. That's not that one. 311. I'm looking for F307. There it is. That makes more sense for that painting. So typically I do store everything as it comes. Um, so with this, I'll just be tucking them back into the plastic bag they came in. Um, I'm also kind of checking to make sure that it looks like there's enough drills in there. Um, I'm not terribly worried if I did get shorted on a, a drill or two. Um, I do have plenty of friends that I can call on, um, plus my little stash that I've started of, of drills. So, let's see, 310. Yeah, like I said, I'm at this point just matching these up to make sure I've got matching packs of drills for each canvas here. Well, that's interesting. I've got a pack here that didn't match up with one. So you make sure this is F301. I've got 302, 303, 304, 305, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 11. Ha ha ha! There was still one in the package. Hey, there it is. Number one, three, zero, one. All right. So that's a little terracotta pot with some tulips and some butterflies. Okay. We are squared away now. So three, zero, one through three, zero, twelve. Um, I don't have any particular order that I plan to work these in. So I, like I said, I'll just starting in January when I'm ready to start a new painting. I will go through and just pull one out and grab the matching drills for it and go from there. I appreciate you guys stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this little pack. Uh, like I said, it's from Amazon um, and you can look on Tiny Fun's uh, storefront and bring that up. Um, 
I paid a little under 19, well, my husband paid a little under $19 for it on Amazon Prime Days. Um, and at full price, uh, it was at $24.99. However, I have seen it on sale quite often. So definitely just throw it on your wish list. I'm sure it'll go back on sale at some point soon. Um, and uh, let me know if you got any great Amazon Prime Day deals. I do still have one more painting coming. Um, it should be here on Wednesday. So we'll take a look at it whenever it comes in. Again, thanks for stopping by. Have a great day and happy diamond painting. Bye-bye.